Hello, I'm Carol, and I suffer from limerence. I'm going to read the 12 Promises of Limerence. I got some help writing them by AI again. I ask.ai. The 12 Promises of Alcoholics Anonymous apply to recovery from limerence. Okay. Alcoholics Anonymous AA outlines a set of promises that members can expect as they progress in their recovery journey. These promises serve as guiding principles for personal transformation and healing. Limerence, characterized by intense romantic attraction and obsessive thoughts about another person, and I'll add this, wanting their approval, wanting their validation, their reciprocity, wanting them to return our feelings, and feeling really bad, really lost and messed up when they're not returned, and especially when they don't want to be around us at all when they ignore us. So this feeling characterized intense romantic attraction and obsessive thoughts about them can be detrimental to emotional well-being. Applying the 12 promises of AA, promises of Lima, to recover from limerence can provide a structured approach to overcoming this condition. One, we are going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. In the context of limerence, this promise signifies a liberation from obsessive thoughts and feelings associated with an unattainable love interest. By focusing on self-awareness and emotional regulation, individuals can cultivate a sense of freedom that allows them to, pers to pursue genuine happiness independent of their limerent interest. And I rely on, I'm beginning to rely on a higher power to help my emotions regulate I can't do it by my willpower alone. I used to be a member of a pro, a real 12-step program, existing program called Emotions Anonymous. And um, the 12 steps of EA and my higher power were what helped me deal with my emotions. And I'm still working on that. I haven't been very active in EA lately, but um, it's a spiritual program like all the other 12-step programs. So emotional regulation, if you hear emotion regulation, uh, Emotions Anonymous might help. Number two, we will not regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it. Recovery from limerence involves acknowledging past experiences without dwelling on them negatively. This means understanding how previous relationships or infatuations shaped one's current emotional landscape while learning valuable lessons that contribute to personal growth. Many people that are limerent deal with, have dealt with childhood emotional neglect or child abuse in their past, or maybe they've come from alcoholic or addictive families or families with mental illness. We will comprehend the word serenity and we will know peace. Finding peace is crucial in overcoming limerence. This promise encourages individuals to seek inner calm through mindfulness practices, therapy, outside help or support groups, or a Lima meeting, allowing them to detach from obsessive thoughts and embrace tranquility in their daily lives. Oh, and by the way, I attended three Zoom AA open meetings online today instead of going to the, the IOP. I've got to talk to my counselor about the direction I'm going right now. I can't be around my limerent interest, no matter what, and if he doesn't understand that, I need to make some changes in what I need for support right now. For no matter how far down the scale we have gone, we will see how our experience can benefit others. Yeah, a hopeless limerent. We can recover and we can share that recovery with other people. Experiencing limerence can feel isolated, isolating. However, sharing one's journey with others who may be struggling with similar feelings can foster connection with empathy. Yeah, we can sponsor people. By helping others understand their own experiences with limerence, individuals can find purpose in their struggles. We can write about it or we can share about it. We can lead meetings, found meetings. Five, that feeling of uselessness and self-pity will disappear. Yes, my last limerent object felt sorry for me. I refuse to feel sorry for myself. I refuse to feel useless. When someone pities you, you can feel useless. 
Limerence often leads to feelings of inadequacy. Yes, when unreciprocated affection is involved. Yes, that unreciprocated love again. This promise emphasizes building self-esteem through self-care practices, hobbies, and social connections that reinforce one's worth outside of romantic validation. Yes, and staying away from the person if you can. Six, we will lose interest in self-absorbed, selfish things and gain interest in our fellows and others. Shifting focus from obsessive thoughts about a specific person towards nurturing relationships with friends and family or others or peers is essential for recovery from limerence. Engaging in community activities or volunteer work, for example, fosters connections that are more fulfilling than fleeting infatuations. Yes, founding this 12-step program. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, I do get very self-absorbed when I'm dealing with my limerent interest. Um, I think my peers at the IOP program felt it like a sea change. I think they knew when to avoid me, which didn't help at all. I really felt unsupported when they did that. I also understood why they did it. I was really, uh, self-absorbed. They didn't want to be around me either. Yesterday when I was crying and crying and carrying on in group, I was just, I was a mess, you know, I, and I, I did not expect them to have any sympathy at all, but I did feel very isolated, very, uh, whew, I had to own that, uh, feeling. Seven, self-seeking will slip away. <clears throat> Boy, that's a hope I have. And it's a, it's promise number seven, self-seeking will slip away. Limerent individuals often engage in self-centered behaviors driven by their fixation, case in point, on another person's attention or affection. Recovery involves recognizing these patterns and redirecting energy towards healthier pursuits that promote mutual respect and understanding in relationships. 8. Our whole attitude and outlook upon life will change. As individuals work through their feelings of limerence, they may find themselves adopting a more balanced perspective on love and relationships, one that values reciprocity over obsession, leading to healthier interactions moving forward. And love is not the same as approval. 9. Fear of people and economic insecurity will leave us. Overcoming limerence often requires confronting fears related to rejections or ina inadequacy tied to romantic pursuits. As confidence grows through recovery efforts, fears diminish allowing for more authentic connections without anxiety about outcomes. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm having some anxiety right now. Ten, we'll intuitively know how to handle situations which used to baffle us. Oh, I know why I collect disability benefits now. I feel a panic attack trying to start just reading this stuff. It's it's about change. It's about my, about my potential new life. I'm terrified of it. My experience, strength, and hope here. With time spent reflecting on past behaviors linked to limerent experiences, individuals develop greater emotional intelligence that helps that helps navigate further relationship dynamics more effectively, recognizing red flags early on or understanding when it's time to step back. Now, I wish I'd known when it was time to step back back in the end of November with this uh, limerent thing with this person at the IOP. I wish um, with her switching tracks, I had seen that as a signal. I had prayed it up. I had prayed to the Lord to um, deliver me from this limerence on her. And um, he was delivering me when she switched uh, programs, when she switched tracks. There's two tracks. There's a morning track and an afternoon track. I was in the afternoon track. When she switched to the morning, I should have taken that as a sign from my higher power to step back. And I didn't. I I was still wondering why she uh, left left our track. I was wondering if she was avoiding me. I was wondering if she knew and she was avoiding me when it should have been this way. It doesn't matter if she knows or not. And if she knows, I'm safe now because she's gone. But uh, she kept uh, showing up during the break times and at, at lunchtime and, um, and then walking by me and 
you know, to a limerent person that, oh my God, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship you have with them if they don't even know that you're alive. It's freaking devastating. And, you know, I understand limerence and only other people that, that are limerent understand or are recovering from limerence understand what I'm talking about. You know, most uh, non-limerent people, you know, they, they think we're, we're pathetic losers. We need to get over it. So, um, yeah, I wish I had stepped back. You know, I'll be honest, I wish I had. Um, next time I will, if I find myself in a position like that. And also, having to hide those feelings for fear of them really ignoring me. Well, she ignored me anyway. What did I have to lose? I, I wish I'd known. Well, forgive yourself, Carol. Whew. You didn't know, or you, you didn't want to know. Limit, limerent person usually doesn't want to face reality. Okay, um, we will suddenly realize that God is doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. Promise number 11. For many recovering from limerence, spirituality plays an important role in finding strength beyond oneself, whether through faith-based practices or simply embracing the idea that there is support available during difficult times. By the way, she didn't call again, and I'm trying to get over that. Oof. Are these extravagant promises, number 12? We think not. They are being fulfilled among us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. They will always materialize if we work for them. This final promise reinforces the notion that recovery is a process requiring effort, but ultimately leading toward fulfillment, encouraging those grappling with limerence, not only to hope, but also actively engage in practices that promote healing over time. And the first thing I need to do is get away from her. Either get transferred to another program. I'm thinking about maybe reducing the days that I go there so that I can have days in between to cool off. But I've got to stay away from her. I don't know if I even want to go back there, but my counselor is going to not be very happy about this. He, he told me yesterday, you're going to be dealing with stuff at another program too. And uh, I know I know that... Uh, the way when I study, I've studied limerence for the past year or so. Um, it's more difficult to get out of a limerent interest than it is to uh, stay out of any new ones. I could have had another limerent interest uh, with someone else outside that IOP program. Uh, I think it was someone that I used to regularly that I regularly would see sometimes. When I went to see my girlfriend, I would sometimes pass them on the street, and I could have gotten limerent on them, but um, I didn't. I realized the signs that somebody was becoming quote-unquote special, and um, I'm not limerent on them. And um, But I'm limerent on... Uh, On, on her, you know, I'm not even going to give her a pseudonym anymore. You guys might know who I'm talking about. I deleted a bunch of videos about it. So, um, the thing is, my counselor would not have yesterday, but I tried to tell him one of the ways I'm trying to get out of the limerent situation is by staying away from her. And the only way I think I can do that is by going to another program away from her, you know, a different, whole other group of people. And I'm not too thrilled with the idea of having to deal with a whole another set of people, but I've been in the mental health system all my life off and on. And, you know, I'm used to switching therapists. I'm used to switching doctors. I'm used to switching programs and switching uh, people. So I don't know if he's just saying that. Maybe he's just concerned about me uh, leaving but um, I told him I'm not leaving treatment. I'm, I'm trying to leave a situation that isn't good for me. By applying these 12 promises within the context of recovering from limerence, individuals can create a roadmap toward emotional health characterized by balance rather than obsession, a journey toward genuine connection rather than fleeting infatuation. Okay, um, thank you all for listening. I'll be back with more experience, strength, and hope, and insight, and study on Limerence and Lima, Limerence Anonymous.